Hi, Spoko Mr. Chaser of Martial Arts, and this is the secret to leverage. In this video, I'm going to go over the two points of leverage, and at the end of the video, I'm going to add the third point of leverage, which makes this all work. I'm going to start with this one because as many times as I tell people this, I still see people do this one wrong over and over again. When you do leverage, you need two points of support. You need one and two. It could be off the body, the arms, the shoulders, it doesn't matter. But the important part of this is both have to move. I can't tell you how many times I see people grab two points of support and they push or they pull, but they don't push and pull. You need both points of support, whether it's here or here, it doesn't matter. You need two points and both of them have to move. So if I get two points of support, right, I'm going to go one and two. I see a lot of people go like this and they push really hard on the one point of support, which is okay. And he's going with me because he's being nice. But if he resists a little bit, that's not going to happen because I'm not moving this hand. This hand has to come like this. So I get that second point of support on the lever. It has to be one, two. You know, it's almost like this. Imagine that, right? Shocking that it would be something simple like this, one and two, but that's what it is. So I'm one and I'm two. Okay, I see a lot of people do that with the hands and they do just fine. They start struggling though when they start using the body. So they'll prop it like this and then they'll either push or they'll pull. The secret to this is you have to learn how to take your energy without this hand forward and this part has to come backwards. So there's my one and two. If I'm here, it's the same thing. I need this as a point of support coming that way and this coming down. If I just come down, it doesn't do anything. It takes the pressure off. This one, which I really like, a lot of people what they'll do is they'll go like this and they'll try and pry with this arm with muscle. That's not what you want. You need support from this point and this point. So I go like this. So if you watch it, I'm actually gonna come back a little bit and that's what makes my point of support. So remember when you're doing these, it's always like this, whether it's off the body, it, you know, even joint locks are like that. People don't even see it. When you do a wrist lock, like it is two points of support. You take one point and you come back and you take one point and you come forward. So if I go like this, one pulls, one pushes. If I just push, it doesn't do anything. If I just pull, it doesn't do anything. You always need those two points. So here's my next tip. When you do this, it's great to have two points of support. But the human body understands how to defend against two points on some level. So a lot of times you go like this, and even though you get a little bit of it, people can resist. That's when you have to add the third direction. So if I go one and two, then I want to come three. I use the two points to move him, and his body goes, okay, I feel like I'm going to go forward. At that moment, he feels like he's going to go forward. You want, you want to change direction so his body doesn't understand what he's doing. I do that a lot even with these. You go one, two, right? But as you go one, two, you change and you pick another angle. So you had your two points of support and then a movement on a different plane. Now, they're not all like that. I mean, if you're just going into a quick pop like this, you're not gonna change planes. But a lot of times, if you go to put this on and you feel it start to work, and then you feel like it's starting to slow down, if you just change directions, it'll work a lot better for you. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Feel free to leave comments and ask questions. Thanks very much for helping grow the channel.